Hussein Rednam lit candles at the tomb of the martyr also in respect of the souls of the martyrs. A vigil was held in front of Dar al-Aman orphanage, which was attacked and damaged in the criminal act. A vigil was held at the orphanage of Dar al-Aman, protesting against the criminal terrorist acts that tried to steal the joy of the adults and children's faces. We came here to pay respect for the souls of the martyrs who were killed. This was a sad year for Syria. Many martyrs were killed. There are no celebrations for the new year, and also there were no celebrations for Christmas. I came to light a candle for martyr souls. We pray for peace for their souls, for Syria's safety, and for the army's strength. Participants of all ages chanted slogans to condemn the terrorist acts that aimed at spreading the culture of destruction, which is strange to our country. I hope that peace and safety prevail in our country. Participants pledged to continue the march of construction with the same determination and sacrifice that was dedicated by the martyrs. In a similar way, relatives and friends of martyr Hussein Ghannam, who was killed by a terrorist attack at the University of Damascus, lit candles at his final resting place at Al Sayyida Zainab, expressing determination to continue the march of construction. We came to recite pieces of the Holy Quran for his soul. We congratulate his relatives for his martyrdom for the sake of the knowledge and the country. We held this activity to pay our respect for the martyrs who sacrificed for the sake of the country's dignity. It's a message of defiance by the martyrs' friends telling that Syrians are determined to protect their country, the cradle of the first alphabet.